What's going on everybody? It's Will Murphy here with Iron Will Fitness and we have day 12 of the Iron Will Beginner Dumbbell Video Workout Program. <laughs> Today I want to talk to you about recording your fitness journey. It's a good idea to write down what you eat every day and what workouts you're doing with the exercises, sets, weights, and reps of each exercise that you do so that you know for future reference what you need to be working on as far as how much weight you're lifting or how many reps you're doing per set or you know how many calories you're taking in versus how many you're burning. These things can only help improve your fitness journey. Let's move on with our workout. Our first work, our first exercise today is going to be dumbbell step ups. Today we're going to begin our workout with a dumbbell step up. Once again, choosing a weight to allow failure between six to ten reps. You'll pick up the dumbbells. You'll set one foot on your platform, and you're going to press up through your front leg to the top of the movement. Make sure that you control your descent on the way down, and don't just come up and let yourself fall back down. Muscle building works both ways. You have to have a good contraction and a good stretch on the muscle to really bring out that muscle building. Let's move on with our workout and get three sets of six to 10 reps. Today's second leg exercise is going to be a dumbbell walking lunge. This is going to focus on your entire leg, but it's going to focus a little more on your hamstring and glute through the movement because you're going to be pushing yourself forward using your back leg instead of coming straight up on your, off your front leg. So you'll lean into the lunge and you'll push through your back leg to continue with the movement. Take a step and push through the lunge with your back leg. This is different than a regular lunge because a regular lunge, you would come back or straight up in your lunge, working more quad than your hamstring and glute. Let's get into this and get three sets of six to 10 reps. Today's back exercise is going to be either a bent over or an incline bench row with your elbows wide. You'll take your dumbbells, you'll either bend over or you'll get on a bench. If you bend over, keep a flat back or lay on a bench. Make sure that you're flat on the bench. Let your arms stretch and pull on your back. And from there, you're going to initiate the movement, bringing your elbows back behind your back. So you're going to bring it up and down, making sure to squeeze at the top and keep the movement as fluid as possible. When training your back, it's a good rule of thumb to remember that wherever your elbows point, that's probably the point where you're working on your back. So if your elbows are in and down, you're probably working more middle back. If your elbows are up by your shoulders, you're probably working more upper back. With that being said, let's get started and get three sets of six to 10 reps. Today's chest exercise is going to be the incline dumbbell fly. You're going to take the dumbbells and you're going to hold them directly above your head with arms out straight, making sure to pinch your shoulder blades back. From there, you're going to open your arms and get that nice deep stretch in your chest and initiate the movement through the chest and bring it back to the top, making sure to squeeze your chest the entire time, especially at the top, making sure to get a stretch and a contraction with every exercise you do will ensure the most muscle damage for recovery and growth. Let's get into this and get three sets of six to ten reps. Today's shoulder exercise will be the dumbbell side lateral raise. Make sure that when you do this you work on the contraction in your shoulder a good way to do that is to make sure that as you come up, you also bring the weights back and really contract the shoulder. If you bring your arms straight up, you're not going to get as much contraction in the side delt as you want. You're going to get more contraction in your front delt. But as you bring your arms back, 
you're, they contract quite a bit harder and give you a little bit more activation in your shoulder. Let's get started and get three sets of six to 10 reps. Make sure on this one that you don't go too heavy because if you go too heavy, your traps will take over in the movement and you won't get as much in your actual deltoid muscle as you would like. Let's get started. Today's biceps movement is gonna be a dumbbell T-curl. You'll take the weight, you'll turn your palms out, making sure your arms are completely straight. From there, you're gonna initiate the movement through your biceps and bring the weight all the way to the top, flexing your biceps as hard as you can at the top. And then you're gonna slowly let it back down and stretch your biceps as much as you can at the bottom. This movement's gonna work just a little bit more of the outside of your, or the inside of your bicep, as opposed to like a hammer curl or an overhand curl or a close grip curl, which will work more of the outside part of your bicep. Either way, you're gonna be working your entire bicep, but you can put a little bit more emphasis on your, uh, on which head you hit of the bicep based on how you turn your arms. Let's get into this and get three sets of six to 10 reps. Today's triceps exercise will be a lying dumbbell tricep extension, otherwise known as a skull crusher. This is gonna put a little bit more emphasis on the inside of your tricep. You're gonna take your dumbbells, you're gonna lay back on the bench, bringing the dumbbells above your forehead and bending at the elbows, bringing them down beside your ears and then back up to the top of the movement, making sure to get that stretch in your triceps and contract your triceps and squeeze to bring it to the top of the movement. Let's get into this and get three sets of six to 10 reps. Today's final dumbbell exercise is gonna be for our lower abs. We're gonna use a dumbbell and we're gonna do a straight leg lying leg raise. You're gonna lay back on a bench, taking the dumbbell in between your feet. You're gonna hold on to the bench for some support. And you're gonna bring your legs up to the top, making sure that your hips raise up off of the bench and then come back down to the bottom of the movement in a slow controlled fashion. Making sure to initiate the movement through your abs or you'll feel it more in your hip flexors. Let's get into this and we're gonna get three sets of eight to 12 reps. Well, that's the end of day 12 of the Iron Wheel Beginner Dumbbell Video Workout Program. I hope you had a good workout. I hope you have a great Friday. I hope you have a good weekend. Make sure to get your cardio, 30 minutes on Saturday and Sunday. Don't forget your 20 minutes after your workout today. Make sure you get plenty of rest and recover. Get ready for Monday's workouts. We're gonna do all the same exercises as we did this week. We're gonna do them all circuit style. So get ready for that. It's gonna be pretty intense. You're gonna burn a lot of calories. We'll see you next time. Peace.